Welcome back to Big Nick's Meats and Treats. I wanted to do a follow-up video to the video I did just last week on my new Myron Mixon Bark 2400 by Smokin' Brothers. I wanted to get into using the uh, controller and using the app, so let's do it. First thing I want to do is clear up a little screw up I did in the last video. I talked to Ryan at Smokin' Brothers. He's one of the brothers from Smokin' Brothers and they're the ones that make the uh, Myron Mixon Smoker. And he uh, corrected me in saying that the drip pan and the heat deflector are made of carbon steel, not stainless steel. And he said he did that for heat retention. So I just wanted to clear that up. So now let's talk about the controller. Okay, let's talk about the controller here. This is what Smokin' Brothers is calling the QView controller. It is actually made in Missouri for Smokin' Brothers, and this controller is actually on some of their own branded uh, pellet grills that they have. I talked a little bit about how getting it connected in the last video, but it's pretty easy to use. Uh, all you have to do to turn it on is just hit the power button. The top is gonna to show you what the internal temperature is and the bottom is the temperature that you want. You can go up in one degree increments or hold and it'll go up in 10 degree increments. In this case, I'm gonna do 250. So I'm gonna set it for 250 and the blinking light indicates that you're connected to Wi-Fi. The uh, lower light here indicates that you're in the ignition phase of the uh, startup. Like I mentioned in the last video, when you first get it, if you press and hold power in auger for six seconds, it will prime the auger for you. Uh, the fuse is down here. It has a lot of programmable features that you can do through a series of buttons, but I wouldn't recommend messing with that unless you're talking to somebody at Smokin' Brothers uh, and don't mess with the uh, preset settings. One cool thing about this is it has a cool smoke mode. You can press and hold the power button for five seconds and it'll come up on the screen as cool cook, which basically all it does is turn the fan on and nothing else. So you can use a, uh, a, a smoke tube Put that in the grill and the fan will turn, blow the smoke around and you can smoke cheeses and things like that. So that's pretty cool. So let's talk about the app. One more thing I wanna add is the uh, meat probe. I, I have like seven or eight different wired meat probes and none of them worked when I first plugged them in. So I talked to Ryan at Smokin' Brothers and he said, you basically have to use their meat probe because it has a specific resistance and plug size that works with this. And as soon as I got the Smokin' Brothers meat probe, everything worked just fine. So just make sure that you use their meat probe. Okay, to use the app, I'm gonna click on QView, which I installed on my homepage after I set it all up. I'm gonna log in. And then it's gonna to connect to my grill. So it will show you the current internal temperature, the temperature that I'm going for, and that it's in warm-up phase, Wi-Fi information. Uh, I would have to say the connectivity of the controller has been outstanding. I haven't lost connection once since I've been using it. If I was I had a meat probe plugged in that would show the current temperature here, I can type in a manual temperature here and hit set and that that will be the temperature that the grill will warm up to or you can use the presets if i go up to the hamburger menu and hit account a bunch of other options come up uh gives you a bunch of information here which i'm going to black out so you can't see on the video because i don't want my personal info out there but it tells you your personal info uh this is your uh email that you have registered with smoking brothers if you want to change that you can this is the name of your grill, the grill ID, serial number, and what phase that it's currently in. Under settings here, those presets that were on the main page, you can change these presets to whatever you want uh, and then hit update and it will change your presets. This shows your login history uh, as many times as you've been logged in uh, using the uh, grill. Here you can change your password if you want. And here, if you want two-factor authentication, you can add that. And then the last thing, if you want to delete all your personal data off there, you can. So let me go back to the main screen, which is start grilling. It'll reconnect, shows everything there. Uh, grill is warming up right now. I'm at 119, trying to get to 250. 
Overall, it does everything that I want it to do with the exception it doesn't have any alarms built into it. So if I was going to do an overnight cook and I had a flame out or something on the grill, I wouldn't know. So I would recommend using uh, an aftermarket meat probe or something like that. Uh, to monitor temperatures so you know if you have a flame out or something like that because there's no alarms for meat or for the grill. But other than that, it does everything that you need it to do and so far I've had no issues with it and like I said, it stays connected really good. Well, hopefully that just gives you a basic understanding of the controller and the app. I'll put some links down in the description below to the actual Smokin' Brothers videos on that. So if you have any additional questions, you can look at those. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of videos on this new Myron Mixon Bark 2400. So tell your friends and family about us. And until I see you next time, watch me work, baby. Watch me work.